Who are these armchair detectives that are taking over this story? There are about a billion people out there uh, prepared to say what they think happened uh, from the comfort of their armchairs. I think the mainstream media are making this into another McCann case. I don't know why. I know that McCann case has been severely hampered by cover up. Because we're not having this narrative. And when we don't have the narrative, when it's a cover up, they pay people to attack you. Oh yeah, they pay people to admonish you, discredit you, shut you up. We want to shut down all the armchair detectives. They've already started. You will read today's paper. We don't want these armchair detectives coming out with stuff. They're talking about me. Well, I have a song for you. <laughs> You're not that special. <laughs> You're not that special. <laughs> You're not that special, and if you think you are, well, you're not. <laughs> but the actual police force isn't doing anything until today, when they finally respond to what I told them a week ago, that the campsite is what they should be looking at. We're not fools here, I'm sure detective, a team alone. We're not fools. And I think I've come up with a pretty good proposal of how she could have left the area due to the mistakes of the police and some very strange going on by the villagers and the farmers. Couldn't say too much on YouTube, I'll say a bit more here. TikTok people are invading the area as well, but they're also police are worried about Facebook, really. There's been a lot of Facebook groups giving hell to certain members of the family saying they did it, point finger point, you know, they, he did it. He did it, he did it. There's a lot of that going on on Facebook, not on YouTube, yeah? Because our American friends don't do that. We don't do that anymore, do we? Facebook do that. We don't, we've actually learned our lesson about finger pointing, I think. We don't do it anymore. I mean, like, I won't, I'm, I really won't blame anybody until I'm sure. Like, all that about the, um, the farm people, I'm, I'm not, I'm still not saying it was them. I'm saying that somebody else snatched it, you know? I will not, I will not blame those people in the campsite unless I get proof. These farmers have control of the situation. I wouldn't say it on YouTube, but I'll say it to you guys. That's what I'm hoping people will see. I couldn't say it on YouTube, but you know, you know what I mean? It's like obvious, isn't it? That they controlled the situation. Those farmers got some talking to do now. I've dropped, I've dropped them in it, haven't I? The fact that they're all involved, the fact that the only exit is right past their bloody caravan site, puts them right in, they've got some answering to do. Go and search the campsite. Do a forensic search of the campsite. I won't, I'm, I really won't blame anybody until I'm sure. I'm going to put together my theory that puts the two suspicious men seen on the day before and the day of uh, Nicola's disappearance could be involved in an abduction scenario that uh, happened in the field, not the campsite. But the actual police force isn't doing anything until today, when they finally respond to what I told them a week ago, that the campsite is what they should be looking at. And when I tell you this stuff, that I believe she'd been missing in the, in the fields, that's what I believe. 
Go and search the campsite. Do a forensic search of the campsite. Do a forensic search of the bench. Let's find some DNA. Let's check some phone records and their GPS where people were at 9.10. Let's do some proper police work. That puts the two suspicious men seen on the day before and the day of uh, Nicola's disappearance could be involved in an abduction scenario that uh, happened in the field, not the campsite. Go and search the campsite. Do a forensic search of the campsite. Happened in the field, not the campsite. Go and search the campsite. Don't buy it. Who are these armchair detectives that are taking over this story? There are about a billion people out there uh, prepared to say what they think happened uh, from the comfort of their armchairs. Probably some of the people who will be following that stuff will be saying it's because they can't trust the media, whereas what yeah. you're following is literally just some bloke in the street. We're not fools here, armchair detective. Our team alone. We're not fools. Maybe the truth lies with us, social media. But you know, there's all kinds of just mad stuff going on about this. And you need to remember there is a family that have lost their mum and their partner and their daughter and their sister. Uh, and that could be just about any one of us that have just disappeared off the streets. Let's hope that the police manage to find some proper answers at some point this week.